Hey everyone, I'm Dr. St. George. We're going to do a short video on the Ambu A-Scope today to give everybody a sense of some of the basic bells and whistles, how to plug it in, uh, how to turn it on and off, and then just a quick basics of intubation technique using the fiber optic A-Scope. So let's get started. All right, so first of all, let's go ahead and take a look at the Ambu A-Scope here. Uh, the, the power button is on the top. It's a simple just press once, release, uh, as soon as that happens, you should get this blue screen. Once you get the blue screen, you get the whirly twirlies over here, and that just means that nothing's plugged in yet. So you got to take one of these guys, one of the uh, disposable fiber optic bronchoscopes that they, <coughs> that they make. Uh, uh, it has the attachment here, the adapter, which has the, a little blue triangle, and you can see a little blue triangle on here here on the monitor so they make it as easy as possible. You just pick this thing up, you take the blue triangle, and you go ahead and you just do triangle to arrow to arrow, triangle to triangle, and you just plug it in, and that's it. There you go. You got the image on the screen. You can see here. Um, all right. So that's turning it on. That's plugging in the disposable Ambu A-scope. Let's take a look at the scope itself just for a minute. Uh, so as you can see here, it's got the handle, uh, it's got the lever here for driving the tip uh, and suction here. Uh, and the suction catheter is, uh, is attached here and then you should put your index finger on this part and then your thumb bent lightly on the lever here. Uh, and you can see that right here. And what happens is when you're driving the scope, right, as you um, got to press up to go down and down to go up, all right? Those are the basic movements, up to go down down to go up. And soft movements usually produce enough, right? You don't have to really yank it like this because if you do that, what you can see is it goes 180 degrees. That's not helpful. Same over here, right? So really probably no more than 20 or 30 degrees on this is ever needed, right? For it to move the way you want to. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, one of the things that I really like using, and I think I recommend anybody use, particularly if they're not an expert using the Ambu A-Scope uh, or any fiber optic device, is to use one of these guys with it. Uh, this is called a Williams uh, Airway. Uh, and as you can see here with the Airway, it's got this ramp here and uh, the insertion site here. And you're going to go ahead and you're going to put this in the mouth, distract the jaw, make sure it goes around the tongue, not pushing the tongue back into the mouth. And then you're just going to seat it gently midline, uh, and you're going to, this little piece here is just going to rest gently on the teeth. So once you have that in place, you're going to go ahead and pick up the scope in your dominant hand, okay? <clears throat> uh, I think if you don't use a fiber optic scope, oftentimes people think, oh, it's like a laryngoscope and I should put it in my non-dominant hand. But actually you want this in your dominant hand because you're going to use this to drive the fine motor skills. So... Most people hold it in their dominant, the handle in their dominant hand. All right, so let's go ahead and insert the scope, bend my elbow and just rest gently, rest gently on my shoulder here, get a good position. Now I'm gonna use my fingers to walk the scope down and you can see I'm uh, on the ramp of the Williams catheter. It looks like a ski jump and it's gonna take me all the way down. And there, right there, you see the lip of the Williams airway catheter. And then as I advance slowly forward without doing anything, you can actually just see that epiglottis come into view. Uh, and now I'm gonna slowly inch my way forward. And you can see here that with this, I'm gonna have to just drop down just a little bit to get underneath the epiglottis, advance a little more. And then once I'm a few millimeters past, I'm gonna then go ahead and look up by pushing the lever down. And I can see a great view of the structures that I'm interested in, right? There are the arytenoids, there are the vocal cords. I can see some tracheal rings in the distance. With some fine micro adjustments, I can go ahead and advance towards the anterior trachea. And as I get close up view, a nice close up view of the anterior trachea, I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna just push the liver up to drive the scope down into the anterior trachea and down to the carina. There you go. So that's it. That's a simple review of the Ambu A-Scope, the device itself, and a simple intubation technique and some of the moves involved. Uh, go ahead and review this video, uh, and then uh, I will see you on the other side.